thanks again for watching Hot Property Online. My name is Christian Harris. Happy New Year to everyone. On January 9th, they had the first interest rate announcement from the Bank of Canada. As many suspected, they left the rate unchanged. Usually when they make this announcement, they kind of speak to the future. Again, Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Pola has tried to prepare people that we may see an increase later on this summer. You know, rewind six months ago, nine months ago, kind of the end of the summer, people were hearing from Bank Canada that we're going to see three or four bumps in 2019. A lot of Bay Street and a lot of economists are saying they don't see that happening at all this year. Um, inflation's where it should be. Uh, you know, we have some issues with the oil prices and demand out west. We have the GM uh, closing down here. It's an election year. South of the border, we have a government shutdown. A lot of people are saying that our economy is where it should be. Another bump in the prime rate is going to have a, a huge effect on consumers and they really don't need to. So it's tough because you know, even today I got an article from a client saying, you know, should we lock in because here, here's, a, here's an article saying it's gonna go up. I could send two or three articles back to him that are gonna dispute that argument. At the end of the day, no one knows. As we sit here today, there's not really real good reason to be raising interest rates. We'll, we'll continue to watch it. You guys hear it on the news, but just be careful about what you read because people read, read stories to sell papers, sell you know, articles and, and uh, just because one person says rates going up, you can find other people who will disagree with you. I, we personally don't think that we're going to see a drastic increase in the prime rate this year. And Bank Canada Governor, I think, is trying to price in one more. But um, if you're on a variable rate for 2019, I don't think there's any reason to be panicking right now. You're still saving money. And go back to our old strategy. Look at the five-year rate, which is north of 4% right now. Set your payments at that and stay in the threes, mid threes, low threes, and enjoy the uh, savings. Thank you very much.